Hello boys and girls, I'm very glad to see you again. I hope you're all keeping very well at this time when you're off school and Sunday school. I'm looking forward to the meeting today. I hope you're going to enjoy it as well. Our story today is going to be about Joseph. Uh, we're going to begin our meeting then with a chorus. And our first chorus today is Rolled Away, Rolled Away. Now, remember to sing along as well. And uh, I trust that you'll sing out really well and that you'll enjoy this chorus. <laughs> good singing. Now we'll have a word of prayer, so please bow your head, close your eyes, because we're talking to God in heaven. And we bow our head to show that we believe that he is God, that he's greater and more mighty than we are. And then we close our eyes so that nothing else distracts us whenever we're speaking to God. So let's pray together, please. Our Father, we come before thee today, in the Lord Jesus' name, we thank thee, O God, that we're able to come into thy presence. And we ask that thou wilt remember us in our children's meeting. We pray that thou wilt remember every boy and girl, that thou wilt bless them, remember their homes and families, remember all the children of our Sunday school and of our children's meetings. And we pray, dear God, that thou wilt be with them each one. Keep us all in safety. Bless our homes and our families and give us a good time now as we think about the things of God and as we learn some of these great truths about the Bible and what the Bible has to say to us. And so remember us now in the Lord Jesus name and for Jesus sake we ask our prayers. Amen. Amen. Our memory verse today is taken from Psalm 121. And over the next few weeks, I hope that you'll be able to learn these verses. And then when it's all learned, we'll see if anyone can say the whole psalm word perfectly. We're going to look at verse one today. Uh, I'll say it to you firstly, and then we'll repeat it a couple of times together. And the Bible says in Psalm 121 and the verse one, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Now we'll say it all together. After two, one, two. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse one, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Very good. Now that Psalm and those words just mean that you and I can ask the Lord to help us through life. The hills that are mentioned remind us of heaven. That's where the Lord is. And uh, so we'll say it again. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 1. After 2, 1, 2. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Very good. Now we'll say it one more time, after two, one, two. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse one, 
I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. That's very good indeed. Well done. And so you learn that verse this week. You go over it every day and then you'll very quickly get it into your mind and we'll go over verse two next time. And so please do that. And at the end of our time together then, I trust that we'll all know all of the words of Psalm 121. Now, the second chorus that we're going to sing is one way God said to get to heaven, Jesus is the only way. Now sing it out well, and uh, we're going to have that chorus right now. him sneered Joseph's brothers who does he think he is and what a stupid looking coat to wear Joseph's brothers were very angry because Joseph's brothers were jealous and they were jealous because the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that their father had made Joseph a coat of many colors I don't know all the colours that were in the coat, but I'm sure there was red and blue and green and purple and yellow, perhaps all the colours of the rainbow. But that coat was very special to Joseph. It was special firstly because his father had given it to him. Maybe you should make a little card or a gift for your mummy or for your daddy to thank them for everything that they have done for you. And when you give it to them, they'll look on that as being very special indeed because it came from you. And this special coat was given to Joseph by his father and that made it special in Joseph's eyes. It was also very special to him because to get a coat of many colours in those days was a sign of love. And the Bible tells us that Joseph's father loved him more than any of his sons. Because Joseph's brothers were very sneaky. They told lies. They didn't really respect their father. They were nasty to Joseph because the Bible says that they were jealous of him. And that jealousy and hatred only increased because one day when the brothers were looking after the sheep, they did something that they shouldn't have done. The Bible doesn't tell us what that was, but Joseph saw it and he told their father about it. And whenever their father chastised them for doing the wrong, Joseph's brothers were so cross that the Bible says that they couldn't even speak a nice word to him. They were really nasty to him. Don't you be like that. You be kind to your family members and to those that you know and meet. But if Joseph's brothers were angry before, well, they hated Joseph even more. When he announced to them one day, I've had a dream. God sometimes spoke to people by dreams in those days, hundreds of years ago. And Joseph went on to tell them what God had told him in the dream that the Lord had given him. And he said to his brothers, we were pulling stalks of corn and putting them into sheaves. That just means that they were tying them up into bundles. And he went on to say, and in my dream, all your sheaves bowed down before my sheaf. Now, you and I would bow down before the queen or someone really important. And Joseph's brothers knew that you only bowed before someone who was important. And they knew what Joseph meant 
by this dream. And what Joseph was saying was that one day they would bow before him. Well, if they were mad before, whenever they saw the coat of many colours, they were even worse now when they heard this first dream. What they said, us bow down before you. Who do you think you are? You know, boys and girls, some people get mad like that when they hear about the Lord Jesus and how he died on the cross. Some people don't like to be told that they have committed sin, that they have done or said or thought things that are wrong. And they get angry when they hear that God is annoyed by their sin. You know, some people even get cross when they hear that God loves them and sent his son, the Lord Jesus, to take away our sin and to take us to heaven. But that's what he did so that you and I can be seen. Joseph's brothers were cross. But that didn't stop Joseph telling them how God was speaking to him. And then the Lord spoke to him again. And once more, Joseph came and he told his brothers the second dream that God had given them. And this time he said that his dream was all about the sky. And in the dream that Joseph had, he saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars. He was able to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And what did the sun, the moon and the 11 stars do, do you think? Well, they bowed down before him. Well, if his brothers were angry before, they were really, really, really angry now. Even Joseph's father wasn't too happy with the the dream because the sun and the moon represented him and his wife. And so at some time in the future, they too would bow down before Joseph. You see, in the dreams, God was telling Joseph what he was going to do. And he was using Joseph to tell them, his mother and father, and his brothers, just as he wants to use you and me to tell others about God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you see, as far as Joseph and his parents and his brothers were concerned, God had their lives all planned out. And the Lord knew what he was going to do with Joseph and he was going to make him into a great man of God because the Lord had great plans for Joseph's life and God in those dreams was telling Joseph some of the things that he was going to do with him and that he was going to make him into a king. I wonder how it all panned out and how it all happened. I wonder what will happen to Joseph next. Well, you come back next week and you'll learn more about Joseph's life. Okay. Right, boys and girls, we're going to have our quiz now. Now, I hope you were listening well and then you'll be able to answer. Award yourself a point for every question you get right. And let's see if all the boys and girls listening to me can get five points. Okay. The first question is this. What was the new thing that Joseph's father gave him? That's right. It was a coat. Now, the second question is this. What colour was it? That's right again. It was a coat of many colours. Perhaps you've been drawing a rainbow or rainbows as a thanks to the nurses and doctors who are looking after us at this time. Well, Joseph's coat was rather like a rainbow. It was made up of many colours. And the third question is this. What did Joseph have when he was sleeping that made his brother so angry? Yes, he had dreams. That's right. Now, here's question number four. In the first dream, what was it that bowed down? 
It was the sheaves or bundles of corn. And the last question is this. In his next dream, Joseph saw the sun and the moon and what else? I'll give you a clue. It's something you'll see in the sky on a dark, clear night. Yes, he saw the stars. I hope that you got five out of five. And if you did so, then you can congratulate yourself. Now it's time for me to finish. Thanks for watching. We're going to have a short prayer and then we'll finish with a chorus. So we'll pray and then we'll sing deep and wide. And I hope then I'll see you again next week. So we'll bow in prayer. Our Father, we give thee thanks for the story today. We thank thee for the memory verse and the quiz and for all the boys and girls who have been watching in. We ask that thou wilt bless them, that thou wilt be with them, that thou wilt bless those who belong to thee and who are the children of God. We pray that thou wilt make them witnesses like Joseph. And grant, O God, if there be any of the boys and girls who as yet don't know the Lord Jesus, that even today thou wilt speak to them and let them realise and see that they need the Lord Jesus as their Saviour. Remember all our homes and our families and be with us day by day for the Lord Jesus' sake. Amen.